have arrived at our last live stream for ladies uh, technique during this uh, lockdown, during this confinement, um, and which actually uh, brought us to this uh, so beautiful experience uh, to be together uh, even in distance and to try to keep tango somehow together um, and alive uh, at home as well. Um, so before, uh, I, I confess that I'm a bit nervous uh, today, maybe as much as I was nervous in the first uh, two days of uh, live streams, um, I will for sure miss this time. Uh, it's been an amazing uh, experience, challenging, beautiful, uh, and I hope it was very useful for you as well. Um, thank you for all the comments, for all uh, your thoughts and, and feedback and I don't know, uh, all the good uh, thoughts and thanks that you sent to me uh, and energies, it, it meant a lot to me uh, in this time and before going on to, to the exercises that we will do today at the, our uh, last uh, live stream, um, I would like to take a moment and uh, thank very much to Quartito um, Solitano. Uh, I, I remind you that I'm Laura Yal, and uh, I, which I hope we know each other for um, all uh, for for some time already and before uh, this Corona. Um, and I would like to remind you that we are at Quartito Solitano School in Zurich, and I would like to thank Quartito uh, School uh, for making this possible. Uh, this uh, project during the lockdown so that we can uh, keep tango with you uh, in this time and to um, uh, think of this uh, together of this uh, moment for ladies also like club for ladies you know during lockdown uh, which has been amazing and I would like to be grateful and uh, thank you also to um, Angela to, uh, to all the colleagues uh, from Partito Sul who have been helping uh, this time and just for being afraid I miss somebody I will not uh, mention each of you but you know who you are and you know I think of you a lot and thank you very much and I would like to be grateful and to thank to all my hearts to uh, my maestros and uh, maestras especially now maestras who uh, are my inspiration and uh, my information to you that I'm giving to you I uh, could I had the luck and the privilege uh, to uh, absorb it as I could from them so I would like to just um, uh, thank to my main maestros Javier Rodriguez and Andrea Muse and then to thank to um, the ladies maestras um, after, yeah, uh, so after my, my uh, main maestros, Javier Rodriguez and Andrea Mise, to thank to Fatima Mitale, Virginia Pandolfi, uh, Stella Mise, Shanina Quinones, um, uh, and I also had the privilege to take one uh, workshop with um, Geraldo Rojas and uh, as well with Rosana Suarez and uh, I would like to be grateful and thank to for, for all that they have given me and that uh, as well uh, I can uh, share in my way uh, to you. So let's proceed to uh, our exercises. So uh, let's try to uh, change uh, slightly the weight and to feel the ground on the metatarsis and heel. Yeah for, the, yeah, for the beginning. And let's try to uh, take the push on the floor, place the heel and the foot metatarsis on the floor and feel that you're aligning yeah, your back, your hip on the ankle and on the heel and push there in the ground and feel that you are, let's say, go down and push to rise and to feel that you are growing you are stretching and you are placing belly muscles inside the belly button like you would like to stick it to the back and hips on the line of the ankles and we start to uh, take the stretch yeah take the stretch of the leg with um, the hip yeah starting 
uh, like we do start from here and we create space for the partner and we bring inside, keep inside resisting and bending and drawing, yeah, with our point, with our big toe, drawing a line in the sand, yeah, we are still in the sand and feeling, yeah, that we are super ladies and that our chest is over the foot but doesn't go more, I mean my axis, I don't send it more than the toes just in some cases when uh, yeah, my partner uh, calls me to share more axis like for example uh, a volcara, a calicita yeah, that we have uh, worked for them in some of our classes right, so Let's try yeah, now to go uh, bending and we project yeah, without bringing the hips and we try to go stride, side and crossing and we bring again one or two times and you feel that you are pushing and keep stride, keep your um, axis that starts from head and goes to the ankle and heels yeah, and you're going and draw a line. Keep the keep the hip now. Yeah, and then we bring close uh, close the ankles, but don't close the upper part of the legs. Let air there. Yeah, and go uh, pushing and side, and then we bring back, and we feel that when we are doing this, we are go to push as well with the base leg and we arrive with the axis, yeah, with the body over the base leg. We don't stand first, yeah, we don't stand first the leg and then we come. Good. Now, let's go. What did we say at a time? That we can go, yeah, here and we can start like uh, turning as well, but let's take it differently. Let's go like from forward and to take the leg close in this case, right? So let's try to open the hip. So we go in and a little, just a little pivot in this moment and we open the hip, yeah, and try to be with the partner, keep the stretch, keep the axis, yeah, and try to push your axis, your body in the, in the base leg, in the metatarsis and go and open and go forward and open yeah for the moment just this and we can even open less yeah just to practice the opening of the hip in this case yeah good good so uh, what have we said as well that we can go as well down yeah, like uh, flexing, projecting, and we can go opening, yeah, and bring up, and then we can go uh, pushing and opening and bringing, yeah, and we can go down flexing and taking the ruler, opening, and we can go up, yeah, and then we bring the dissociation, yeah, upper body smooth, like little we initiate. Uh, arm, torso, chest and back and we go bending and we bring um, yeah, the leg and the foot and then yeah, we bring uh, uh, to close the hip and the leg, right? Good, so uh, let's try a little bit now to uh, focus as well on this um, yeah, on the torn and let's try to go as well a little bend, yeah, and we take uh, this projection and we start to uh, put in application uh, what we uh, said about the upper body that we are initiating, yeah, energy presence for the partner with our back, yeah, with uh, the muscles under the shoulder blades that we want them to be present as much as we can with the partner, we want to embrace him also with the back and also uh, with the chest, right? And we want to keep, yeah, this arch surrounding the partner, I mean, the, uh, the arms 
the uh, elbows in the middle, we try not to collapse, not to break them, or not to push, or not to, to pull, yeah, the partner, so we want to just be present, yeah, pushing the floor, and just be present here and activate your back and your chest, right? Good, so we will go from up, yeah, go a little bit down here, and let's try to uh, push and take the torque. You can go up and then we bring for the for the forward, we bring like arm, chest, yeah, and upper body, and we take the pushing, and it will come like uh, hip and leg, yeah, and foot after the body. And here we start, yeah, we need to be present, but we take, we push the ground, and we push the body in the in the base leg, and we take to help us the foot and the leg and the hip, right? So we do this a couple of times, yeah, push there, control your center, and you see like in this case, we are just, you know, like in this case we are we are initiating with the upper body, but the upper body remains more with the partner and we are dissociating more the hips, right? So this is a good exercise for you to, to do it for the stability in your uh, pivot uh, and for, yeah, for power, for uh, in power, even for your ankles uh, when, you, when you pivot and for using dissociation yeah, of the hips and uh, to initiate from the upper body, right? And to let your leg, your free leg, uh, come after the, the torn, yeah, in the case of forward pivoting, right? So let's try to do this exercise now that we are going, yeah, we are going like a side now and we are going like forward pivot and torn. Yeah, and we are going forward and torn, forward and torn, yeah? And look what I do, like when I go, yeah, I'm here, and then I start the dissociation. So I start, yeah, upper body, chest, back, arm, with, yeah, the opposite of the base leg, the one of the free leg, right? So it will be always like, this and then, yeah, and you observe that uh, the free leg goes uh, after, yeah, as you see, it goes like after the body. I don't want to bring it, uh, look the difference. I don't want to bring myself here and do this because that means that I will dance very blocked, that I will re I would. Um, somehow block the opportunities, right, of the dance, if, and I would not be more stable, actually. What I want is like to use this spiral, yeah, of the body, like uh, upper body and center and then leg. And in this case, for, the, for example, if I'm here, yeah, uh, on my axis, yeah, over the leg, and this leg is free, uh, my partner can enter a sakala there, and then, yeah, and then it's beautiful because we even need the legs, so the sensation, because why do we do all this, why do we want to um, have as well a better technique, a, a technique for, for us ladies, and to be um, stable and expressive and active, because, of course, we want it for us, but why? Because we want to, to share, to give back to our partner uh, an amazing sensation. We want to be amazing partners, right? And to enjoy, because we enjoy because we feel, uh, we feel confident, we feel stable, we feel elegant, we feel expressive, uh, and that's why we feel free, right, in the dance. But because in the, at the same time, we are able to share, to be great partners, amazing, amazing partners to, to them and we enjoy this as well, right? That we feel in this moment that, for example, when a Sakara comes here and, you know, like I torn and I need his leg and I, I have this 
delay, right? I have this delay of my leg, yeah, and he comes and yeah, and I am turning um, uh, that I didn't rush, right? I didn't rush to just block and to just, you know, maybe even unbalance, actually. So there is this, um, um, you know, sharing of sensations that it's amazing. It's like a, um, we are doing it for us, but we are doing it for them, right? We are doing it for the partner. We want to give him comfort as well. And uh, we dance for the partner. We dance for us, but we dance for the partner. It's like a, what we call, or what I would call, um, uh, positive selfishness, right? So uh, let's continue. And let's go now back. So we put the same, yeah, that we in, in uh, yeah, that we have said. And yeah, we go. So I was about to go forward. <laughs> so we go changing, and here, look, we did, we we start with this, but we take uh, foot, knee, hip, and I push, yeah, in, I push my axis, yeah, in the base leg. Yeah, and I take the leg. Yeah, I try not to take the leg again. Yeah, like in one block. I recommend you to just take it. You see, it's like I'm taking it close, uh, just to say hello. But I'm taking it in a. Um, it has as well, um, let's say, a little delay. Now I went forward, um, and I'm taking it in a flow, right? Close and on the floor, right? Um, close to the uh, to the other one. Like close but it's not stiff. It's not blocked. This is the thing. So, uh, <laughs> yes, because uh, today the last one it is uh, more talking um, than, uh, than practicing, but we have so many, right? We have 10 weeks. So let's do a little bit uh, with our legs. Yeah, let's try. I will try something from here. So let's try to train. Yeah, a little bit again the opening and the boleo. Right. So we go uh, pushing a little bit using the flexibility of the knee and keep and try to use. Yeah, to go like uh, in a circular like. I'm going uh, opening and bringing back the hip, yeah? And we try to train this leg to be free, to um, release the tension in the muscles, yeah? So try to, as well what we were doing before, like uh, release the tension in the muscles, uh, try not to keep the leg blocked and activate the, the point, yeah? The foot, the, the big toe, yeah, and stretch the foot. Try not to, uh, try not to let uh, the foot actually be soft and uh, sleepy. But try to, yeah, stretch, activate the first toe and the first three, yeah, on the on the floor, so that you can really feel the floor and be active. That you feel that connection. Uh, of your of your feet with your body, yeah, with your axis of your free foot, because it's about this. Like the free foot, it is free, but that doesn't mean that it's sleepy. It is actually very active, and you want to feel it active on the floor all the time. Yeah, you want to do these kind of things. Yeah, you want to do these kind of things. You want to have the, the uh, foot on the floor active, stretched. Not yeah, let and try not to change weight. Never and I always I said this. Word, try not to change weight on the small right uh, on this or when we said that yeah we don't want to uh, change weight on the small and neither we don't want to change weight here, my loves. Try to take care, be careful not to change weight yeah on the big toe. But try to use all the time, yeah, the, uh, how we said, uh, all the time try to use the free, the, the free, the big toe, yeah, and the first three, so that you can, I will show you something here, uh, so that you can, yeah, so it's 
the, the big one, yeah, uh, with the three, the metatarsis, and change the center, yeah, and elaborate. So it's like, yeah, like we would go, uh, yeah, to go as straight as possible without opening the hip and without opening, you see, without, uh, without this, but we try to uh, keep it like forward, forward, change, change, for example, and go uh, straight, straight, yeah, as much as is possible, right? And using hip, using metatarsis, Vito, but try as much as you can not to step uh, opening or not to put your weight, not to release your weight on the big toe, but try to use yeah the metatarsis and the big toe, the first three toes and so on. Yeah, we, sp we spoke a lot and we did a lot of exercises in the previous classes for this. Good, so we were saying this before finishing that we are going in the boleo uh, to feel this leg free, to go round and open the hip and let the leg to go with this delay that always try to go and bring back, right? So it's always that I'm not thinking of the boleo, right? We don't want to think of the boleo, we don't want to anticipate to rush the leg to go up before we have to. Right, so we want to just take a, the journey of opening and bringing back, right? And that's why, because I'm bringing back the hip, the leg goes at the last moment as, 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 a, as a width, right? As, as the effect of a width. So, uh, I recommend you to go to all the classes. We have like 10 weeks. This is, was like a, like a little, very little brief, very little brief of we, what we did. Also last Friday I did a, a big brief of what we did. So I recommend you to go to all the classes in our 10 uh, weeks of classes and to practice still at home and uh, also after lockdown it's very useful and the ones in Zurich I'm waiting for you on Monday starting with Monday here. It's amazing we can do our um, ladies technique individually without touching in distance yeah and I will wear a magnificent mask <laughs> so with the apparent mask I am waiting for you um, to be grounded and fly away at the same time together in the big room at Quartito Su uh, it will be amazing a great moment again to, to see you I miss you so much so I will miss you here in the live streams I am very nervous still. I thank you very much for all the classes. It's been amazing, it's been challenging. And with this being said, I am saying you besos y abrazos and I see you in a bit with Giovanni and the Milonga class. Thank you so much, besos y abrazos.